Sergeant Preston of the Northwest Mounted Police with Yukon King, swiftest and strongest lead dog breaking the trail in the relentless pursuit of lawbreakers in the wild days of the Yukon. Back to the days of the gold rush as Sergeant Preston with his wonder dog Yukon King meets the challenge of the Yukon. This is the Yukon in Arctic winter, the territory patrolled by Sergeant Preston. A raw, untutored land where the courage of a thin red line of Northwest Mounted Police became a bulwark of law and order. Herschel Island in the Beaufort Sea, gathering spot for whaling ships during the summer months, almost deserted in winter. When the rowdy sailors left with the coming of the snow, peace had come again to the tribe of Kogmalak Eskimos of the island. Until the day villagers brought their chief Atkasuk and his son Tukalik to view a disquieting sight. A vagrant whaler blown into the bay on the heels of a storm lay caught in the winter ice. Well, Jim, what do you think of Jason Bowhead for a leader now, huh? There's our winter quarter, snug as a bug in a rug. <laughs> you should have been captain. That's what I always said. Jeremy, Nathan, ain't that what I always said? Too bad the captain didn't feel the same way, eh, Bosun? <laughs> Too bad for the captain. He'd be alive now. <laughs> yeah, you boys better reload your guns. Time we brought these savages to terms. Teach them who's boss from now on. Bosun, Doc, pipe them on deck. You savages, out meet your new chief. Supply me an hour, we'll blow you apart. Come on, get here. Get your hook. Get your hook. Get your hook. Get your hook. Me, Atkasuk. Me, chief. You mean you were the chief? That'll teach you to sass me, Esky. Next time I won't miss. <laughs> hey, you. You understand, American? Then you tell these people I'm their new chief, their king. You tell them if they want to stay alive, they'll feed us, give us everything we want. And they'll bring us fox skins, plenty skins, savvy? Then tell them. <laughs> A few weeks later, Sergeant Preston, with his great dog King, arrived at Fort McPherson, northernmost outpost of the mounted police, to take temporary command during the enforced absence of Inspector Fitzwilliam. Sergeant? Corporal King? I've been hoping you can come along soon. Why, is something wrong? I think you'd better check for yourself. Will you come in? Right away. Sergeant, this is Tukalik, son of Atkinsuk, a chief on Herschel Island. Happy to know you, Tukalik. Good dog there. Him yours? Yes, King's my lead dog. Shake hands with Tukalik, King. <laughs> Him great dog. Tell Sergeant Preston your story, Tukalik. Big white king come from ship. Make trouble. Much trouble for my father's people. Him bring one, two, three white men and fire sticks. Him kill other white men on ship in ice, me think. That's a serious charge, Tugaluk. What makes you think there was murder committed? Me hunt seal. See ship come. Many men. Ice come, ship no can go. Many men come with ship. White king, him leave ship. Bring one, two, three white men. No more white men on ship now. Me look. This, uh, this man that calls himself the king, do you know his name or anything more about him? Him say him King Jason. White men call him Bowhead. Him big man, very big, carry big harpoon. So, him hurt my father. Take all our food, take all our skins. This calls for immediate action, Corporal. I've heard of this man, Bowhead. He's a harpoonist, one of the best in the business. And by reputation, a tough customer. You help my people? We'll leave for Herschel Island at once. 
totally glad. Redcoat's Eskimo's friend. Sure, you're not considering handling this job alone, Sergeant. Well, I have no alternative, Corporal. I can't wait for the Dawson Patrol, and you must remain here on duty. Besides, I won't be alone. I have my Eskimo friend, and I have King here. Isn't that right, fella? <laughs> the run from Fort McPherson to Herschel Island, more than 200 miles over some of the most barren, treacherous, and coldest terrain in the Arctic, was in itself something of a heroic feat. But taking it in easy stages, Preston and Tukalik made the trip uneventfully in record time. There, our village. Yes, I see it, Tukalik. There's a strange flag flying out in front of the company building. Which proves our trip wasn't wasted. That fellow Bowhead had the nerve to haul down the Dominion flag and replace it with one of his own. You use fire stick on white men? No, no, Tukalik. Not unless it's absolutely necessary. It's the duty of the police to, to bring criminals to justice, not to kill them. Come on, let's go to the village. Sergeant, him great man. You very proud, huh? That's a rotten lot. Where have you hidden the good stuff? No hide em skins. Hunt no good this time. And I say you're a liar. I'll get him out of you if I have to beat him out of you. Oh. Dark, go see who that is heaving to on a beam. Avast there, what do you mean striking our colors? There's only one flag authorized to fly over Canadian territory, sailor. Put that gun away. Who says so? I do. He won't bother you unless you attack. And who are you? Sergeant Preston of the Northwest Mounted Police. You, Esky. I'll lay this is your doing. Wait till Bowhead hears about it. That'll do, sailor. Where'll I find Jason Bowhead? Inside, mister. Lead the way. Stay, King. Stay. Are you Jason Bowhead? Sure, that's me. As your man probably just told you, I'm Sergeant Preston of the Northwest Mounted Police. I'm here to investigate uh, complaints on uh, robbery and murder. Robbery, murder here? That's right. Oh, I'm afraid someone's been spinning one from the winch on you, Sergeant. Jim Dark here, Nathan, Jeremy. We're just poor shipwrecked sailors, marooned here by the ice. Now, there's no harm in that, is there? I don't know. That's what I'm here to find out. Whose are these? They're ours. We traded them from the Eskies. Oh, it was a fair swap. Why don't you ask them? I intend to. Only Chief Father speak English. Him tell truth. Chief Atkasuk, you can speak for your people. No harm will come to you. Did you trade those skins, or were they stolen from you? Tommy Ashani cannot Speak to Sergeant. Tell him truth. Well, Atkasuk? Took a lick. I'm very young. I make mistake. Atkasuk no want trouble. People no want trouble. Sergeant, you go in peace. First, him belong the white man bowhead. No, no, no. You no listen. All freed. All lie. Why don't you shut up and tend your own sail? He's a troublemaker, Sergeant. This little squid wants to be a hero. Like his old man said, he's just a kid. You heard the chief. So that should settle that, eh, Sergeant? Not entirely, Boohead. I want to know more about you and your ship. Much more. So keep yourself available for further questioning. Don't worry, I don't intend to go anywhere this time of year. Come on, Tuglick. Dark. Aye. Keep a weather eye on that, Marty. I want to know just what course he charts, but don't let him see. Aye, aye, Jason. 
All right, you two look alive. Find something to stow those skins away, and they smell like old bilge. I know you're only trying to protect your people by keeping silent about Bowhead, Chief. But you're doing them more harm than good. These sailors are bad men. They'll take your lives as quickly as they'll take your furs and food. Karantisha. I'd kasu Kim Hunt now. Bring plenty seal. Make white man happy. Make Eskimo happy. No trouble. Sergeant, you see. Him no listen. Him chief. People do as chief say. No listen to sergeant. In that case, I'll have to take other measures. I'm going out to that icebound ship with King. If Bowhead and his men have committed murder, they may have left evidence. If that's the case, I'll take them into custody, with or without the help of your father. You no take Tukalik? No, you stay here and keep your eyes open. If anything goes wrong, let me know. You understand? Tukalik understand. Good. And be careful. I won't be long. Well, Bosun, Preston just weighed anchor and took his sleigh out across the ice. I know, I saw that myself. The point is, where is he headed? To the ship, Jason. The ship? What does he want aboard that old hulk? The log. Preston said something about getting evidence against us. Evidence of murder. Nathan, Jeremy, on deck! You follow that, Monty. We never found the ship's log. The captain had plenty of time to write every detail of the mutiny in it before we busted into his cabin and killed him. I can figure a way out of here without that ship I'd burn her. You two go with the bosun. Take guns and ammunition. If Preston's got that log, you kill him. Do you hear? Kill him. I like it. My hands on that snoop and no. It was dusk by the time Preston reached the ice-locked whaler Dolphin. Outside of the groans of the hull and the creaks of the rigging in the wind, not a sound was heard as Preston and King made a circuit of the icebound ship. Well, we've been all around the ship, King. This must be where they got off. And have a look. You stay here. On the starboard side, in spite of the failing light, Preston worked his way forward from the stern of the vessel and closely examined the deserted ship. All evidence pointed to a sudden departure but no sign of a body. Men, come, Sergeant. They kill you. Tukalik, take dog sled. Get here first to tell you. Thanks, Tukalik. Means I'll have to hurry. So far, I've drawn a blank. From the looks of this cabin, Boad was in here searching for something. Probably the captain's logbook. I'd be willing to bet he didn't find it. What him logbook? Well, the logbook is the ship's journal. Uh, oh. Captain writes down everything that happens every day aboard his ship. Like a storybook? Yeah, you might say that. Only it's a true story, a history. Most of these old ships had secret compartments in the captain's quarters. Usually in the desk. I was about to look there when you came. Let's see what I can find here. You know, wait. They come, they kill you. Took a look, I came here searching for evidence. And I'll not leave until I either find it or I'm sure there's none to be found. There's no reason why you should stay here and risk your life. You've done more than your part already, so go while you can. No. He's sergeant him stay. Uh, Tukalik him stay too. 
Tokalik, Sajin's friend. Nothing can be surer than that. Come on, let's see what we can uncover. Belay that. You want the monitor to know we're here? You can pot shot us from the deck like shooting fish in a barrel. We'll trick the mutt. Sealers, come soon now. I'm going to give this one more try. If that logbook is still here, it's somewhere in this desk. King will warn us. That dog's going to raise Marinette as soon as we start for him. You men move in on him fast. While he's busy with you, I'll climb the ladder and make it topside before Preston gets wise. What are you waiting for? It's just a dog? Obey orders. I'm in charge here. I've got it. The Lord. It's key. Sounds like they've been able to get to him. Let's hurry before they try to kill him. Jeremy, Nathan, outside! Give up, Preston! You're trapped! Don't be a fool, Dark. Kill me and there'll be others to take my place. Give up peacefully while you can. That's big talk, Marty. Come out with your hands up or we'll blast our way in. Got him trapped up in the captain's cabin, up on the quarterdeck. Give him a blast through the door, Nathan, so he'll know we mean business. See what I mean, Preston? All right, come after me. And at least one of you will die before I do. Well, what are you waiting for? Blast your way in and take him. Oh, a couple of yellow bellies, eh? I'll show you. Wait. I've got a better idea. All right, Preston. So we don't come in after you. But you don't dare come out either. It's a standoff. We'll smoke you out. How do you like that, Mr. Mountie? <laughs> Dark's right. He sets fire to the ship, we're helpless. Boy, it's a need ship. Get away when ice go, no burn. If you're right, Dark's bluffing. Bad man no stay long to collect think. Listen. Big storm him come from north. I see him begin move. Push him ship all sides. Ship maybe him sink. Then bad man go. Probably so, if what you say is true. But that also puts us in a bad spot. To collect no one work for bad men, rather die. I hope neither of us have to face that decision, Tukalik. Doc and the others have been gone a long time. What if they ran into any trouble? You can't trust anybody. What do you want? Tukalik, him gone a long time. Why? How do I know? Got enough troubles of my own without worrying about that kid of yours. Sailors, him gone. Tukalik gone. Sailors killed Tukalik. I guess you kill him, bowhead. Get out of here. Get out of here before I kill you. Be no afraid. Me old man, me die soon. You heard him, took a lick. You die too! Now you get out of here before I finish the job. I'll show him. All by myself, I'll show him. Ship's just moving a little. It's all over, Dark. The pack ice is moving. It'll stave in the sides of the ship and we'll go to the bottom in minutes. You don't scare me, Mouty. <laughs> Come up here, you swamp! I think they've gone, Tukalik. Ship sink. They've left. Come on. There they are. Bad men, get away. Oh, we'll catch them with the sled. Come on. Oh, just a 
bad bump in the head, you'll be all right. King and I'll take the lead. You follow us with your sled. Come on, King. Finally aroused to anger by the wounding of their chief and encouraged by the arrival of Preston, the usually peaceful natives began to close in on Bowhead. Many spears and knives against one man with a harpoon and a gun. The fool savages. What are they trying to prove? They don't stand a chance. On your feet! Mount is right behind us. Oh, I can't! Hold it, Doc. Drop that gun. Don't shoot, Sergeant. We surrender. Get him on his feet. Hurry up. Now get your hands behind you. Arrest you all in the name of the Crown for mutiny and murder. You're handcuffed. Those two together. Handcuffed, Dark. You found the ship's log, I take it. That's right. Pick up that gun. We got the whole story. How you killed the rest of the crew, all written in the captain's own handwriting. Written just before you killed him. Okay. What's going on here, Atkasuk? Bowhead. Him shoot fire stick at Atkasuk. People angry. Punish him, Bowhead. There's no need to take the law into your own hands. You leave, no come back. Tukalik go, he no come back. Atkasu think you no come back. Bowhead will pick you off one at a time. Tell your people to move back here. I'll take care of this. <laughs> Is there any way of getting into that building that Bowhead may not know about? Winter ski patch, maybe. In topside. Trap door on the roof? You know how to handle this? All right, guard the prisoners. So Preston caught Doc and the others, huh? Well, he won't find me such an easy mark. Go around the front, guard the front door. Wonder what that mount is up to now. Why don't you come down and get me, Mounty? his people are free now. We take these men back to Fort McPherson. The Dawson Patrol will pick them up and try them for murder. They'll have a tough time proving that. I will, eh? The Dolphin's logbook will convict you. Get moving. Don't judge all white men by a few bad ones, Chief. Sergeant, him make out Kasuk very glad. Now, village people hunt and fish in peace. May you always have peace. Most of us, too. Wish only for the peace that law and order can bring. White brother, speak well. Well, King, we're ready to take our prisoners on to jail. For us, this case is closed. All right, on, King. On, you, Austin. 